graduated from Marine Systems Design Naval Architecture Program. Today, I'm the CEO, President of Madrock Marine Solutions, the only marine evacuation technology company in the world. Our first product is a one-of-a-kind lifeboat release hook. In the past two years, we've experienced over 1,000% revenue growth. Currently, we're in production of new products, including an evacuation craft for the Arctic. My education and mentorship at the Marine Institute has allowed us to revolutionize the marine evacuation industry and compete internationally. I studied the Advanced Diploma in Sustainable Aquaculture at the Marine Institute, and now I'm working at the Ocean Science Center, Memorial University, as a science technician too, uh, in the Aquaculture Research Building. Uh, I'm from Italy, and when I applied at the Marine Institute, uh, I found that people were really helpful with me, um, with everything I needed to come here and to start my studies. And from the selection of the program and how to apply and how to choose the courses. Uh, so that was really, uh, it was a big help for me because I was coming here knowing anybody and knowing anything. Another thing that I liked of the Marine Institute was the small class. Uh, we get re to be really close friends and uh, study all together and help each other and we are still really good friends now. The Marine Institute Memorial University is a leading Marine Institute in Canada. Our graduates come from every province in Canada. They work all over the world. They lead the industries in their respective ocean sectors. I studied uh, nautical science at the Marine Institute, a four-year program. Ten years later, I work for Shell International Oil. I'm a captain now within their liquefied natural gas fleet. Probably the best part of my job is to travel. Right? I really enjoy that. I've been around the world, I can't imagine how many times, seven or eight times around the world. I've seen plenty of plenty of things. I've been to the top of Mount Fuji, I've been to the pyramids, the Caribbean are always nice. I love to travel around Europe. And I'm here stationed here in, uh, in Newfoundland. Right? I do all that work that you're, I've just mentioned to you, and I do that from home. I'm a graduate of the Marine Environmental Technology Program. Today, I'm employed as an environmental manager with SNC Lavalin. In today's world, there's more and more emphasis being put on the environment. Because of that, there's a growing demand for environmental technologists in Canada and worldwide. The Marine Institute really is an industry-driven institution. Because of the way the program is structured, I graduated with the necessary skill set, knowledge, and confidence to work in an evolving industry. In Newfoundland and Labrador, open landfills are currently being phased out. With research and planning underway, it's exciting to be a part of a project that will really make a difference here in the province. When the Marine Institute considers developing a new program, we consult with industry to ensure that there is a market demand. In the case of our ROV program, industry told us that there were going to be thousands of new jobs over the next few years. So we developed an ROV program specifically to target that market need. I studied the Nautical Science program and I'm now working with the Canadian Coast Guard as second officer. What I really liked about my internships was the diversity it gave me to explore different areas in the marine industry. I worked on a passenger ship as well as a cargo ship off the coast of Labrador. I spent some time offshore um, doing supply for the oil rigs and as well as did my last work term with the Coast Guard where I ended up working afterwards. Being a woman in this industry was very challenging, but I went out, did my job and proved myself. Now working as a navigational officer, I help train students that come out through colleges across Canada and we're seeing more and more females every year, which is really great. I completed the Advanced Diploma in Food Safety at Marine Institute and uh, currently I'm a multi-program inspector for the Canadian Food Inspection Agency right here in Newfoundland. The beauty about the Advanced Diploma program is allowing me to build on my Bachelor of Science, specialize in food safety and find real opportunity in the industry. One of the things I really loved about the Advanced Diploma Program was the work term experience. And it's that experience that helped me get a job with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. We strive to be the best at what we do and provide the best quality programs to our students to ensure they meet provincial, national, and international standards. With the skill sets that we provide our graduates, they're able to work successfully 
worldwide. And you'll see them working in the Pacific Ocean as a ship's officer, in design offices in the United States, or any of the many sectors here in this province, Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm a graduate of the Marine Engineering Technology Program. I'm currently a second engineering officer aboard Ocean X Sanderling. One of the unique things about working as a marine engineer is that it provides us with a very unique lifestyle. We work for a period of uh, 28 days on and then we receive 28 days paid leave. So in essence we work for six months and get paid for 12. Due to the worldwide shortage of ship's officers, there are many opportunities to work in this industry. One of the things about working in this industry that I really liked was getting to travel to places that I never thought I'd go, like the Canadian Arctic. I got to see things such as polar bears, glaciers, and icebergs. It was absolutely amazing. For me, it was really helpful, the, the work term too, because after that, I had my job in the same place where I, where I was doing my work term. So it just put me directly in the industry, and that worked really well. One thing we're extremely proud of is our graduate success. We have the highest rate of student loan repayment in the province and the second highest rate in job placement. 